Hey everybody, it's Mikey Chen. Welcome to my new sort of makeshift studio. My green screen studio kind of completely broke down, so this is my new home for a while. I'm not a strong decorator, so this is all I can manage. So hopefully down the road, I can make all this better looking. But anyway, let me ask you, what would you do if you had superpowers? Would you be a hero and uh, fight crime or be a villain and cause havoc? Or you just want to wear your underwear on the outside of your pants? But in any case, like Tony Stark in his Iron Man suit, humans nowadays are using various kinds of enhancements and devices to gain abilities beyond that of everyday people. So for those of you who really want superpowers but aren't lucky enough to be born on the planet Krypton or Vegeta and don't want to roll around in toxic waste or get bit by a radioactive spider, there is hope. With the help of these scientific breakthroughs, you might just be able to start your crime-fighting career or plans for world domination. Not saying they will transform you into a superhero overnight, and all of these things need time to develop, but it's a start. Number one, flight. Everyone wants to fly, but uh, if you think about it, just being able to fly is probably not the greatest ability. I mean, uh, it's cold up there, and uh, you probably don't want to fly when it's raining or snowing or in the winter. And nowadays, if you just randomly go flying around, you run the risk of uh, getting shot down by the government or one of the Duck Dynasty guys. But if in spite of all that, and you still want to go flying around, then you might be able to do so in 2016, when the first commercially available jetpack will be released by New Zealand's Martin Aircraft. The pack will weigh a heavy 250 pounds and cost around $90,000, but with it, you will be able to fly for about 30 minutes and can travel at 46 miles per hour at altitudes of over 3,000 feet. Although you won't be the most nimble superhero, this device would be a good start. Number two, invisibility. To fly or be invisible, that is always the ultimate question. So if flying isn't your thing, maybe you would be interested to know that special meta materials are being developed that can bend light and shadow to make you invisible to the naked eye, as well as sonar and radar scanners. Researchers at Duke, for example, have created a cloak that can make small objects vanish. Most of these modern cloaks only work if you're looking at the object from a specific direction, but several big research institutes are working on maintaining invisibility on the move. One project even uses silk as the cloak so the wearer can be undetected and uh, also very comfortable. You know, this is one technology that would be super cool, but it's also very dangerous if made fully functional. Uh, do you remember Hollow Man? Personally, I really don't see how this creation, again, as cool as it is, I don't see how this can really benefit humanity as a whole. I guess governments could get a whole lot of black ops for undercover use out of it and uh, it would potentially put all ninjas out of business but if this was available to everyday people besides uber creepers and uh, Bill Cosby I just don't see how this thing really benefits anyone. Number three super strength. You may not be able to use the phrase it's clobbering time just yet but a new range of exoskeletons will give your muscles more potency. For example the Fortis is an industrial exoskeleton skeleton developed by Lockheed Martin that allows workers to lift objects weighing up to 36 pounds as if they were weightless. Another example is the Daewoo prototype exoskeleton that can lift objects with a weight of around 65 pounds, and they plan to increase this to 220 pounds in future models. Number four, X-ray vision. This is why Superman is the most powerful superhero. It literally takes like three or four super advanced inventions to kind of sort of replicate, but still doesn't even come close to the powers that he alone possesses. Oh, and uh, speaking of Superman, the new Batman versus Superman movie, I mean, come on, how's that even work? If Superman wanted to, he could just sniper Batman from 10 miles away with his toothbrush. Anyway, speaking of Superman's powers that we're trying to replicate, X-ray vision is always something that would be super cool and uh, controversial to have. In 2011, a study funded by the United States Air Force showed that it was possible to peer through concrete or cinder block walls to monitor the movements of people on the other side. Recently, researchers at MIT have shown that radio signals, including Wi-Fi, can be used to track human motion and build up images of objects through walls. Number five, breathe underwater. Being able to breathe underwater, well, without all that 
bulky equipment is the dream of all underwater researchers, snorkelers, treasure hunters, Loch Ness, monster seekers, and Aquaman wannabes. Well, this could soon be possible thanks to the creation of the Aquaman crystal, or to use its proper name, well, uh, this. This material is able to store the gas at a much higher concentration than oxygen tanks, meaning it will be far smaller and lighter to carry and can slowly release oxygen when put under a small amount of heat. Professor Christine McKenzie said the crystal could be valuable for lung cancer patients who must carry heavy tanks around with them, but also divers may one day be able to leave the oxygen tanks at home and instead get oxygen from this material as it filters and concentrates oxygen from surrounding air or water. She said a few grains contain enough oxygen for one breath, and as the material can absorb oxygen from water around the diver and supply the diver with it, the diver will not need to bring more than these few grains. Number six, night vision. Night vision is probably something very far down on the list of superpowers you would actually want to have. I mean, there are already goggles that do that sort of thing, but if you can't afford those or a flashlight, then this is something that may interest you. A team of biohackers from California called Science for the Masses wanted to see the direct application effect of chlorine E6, which is a chemical mixture found in some deep sea fish and is often used to treat cancer and night blindness. They were able to successfully induce a temporary sense of night vision by injecting the simple chemical cocktail directly onto the eye of volunteer Gabriel Lacina. Incredibly, it allowed him to see clearly over 160 feet in the dark for a brief period of time. Number seven, self-healing. This power has super big pros and cons. The pro, of course, is that like Wolverine, you can heal yourself and not die. The con is that uh, someone could potentially bury you in a casket, and since you can't die, then you will just suffer eternal torment as you lay in a little box surrounded by worms feasting on your ever-regenerating flesh. Known as electrical prescriptions, this new military-sponsored program aims to develop a tiny device that can be implemented in the body, where it will use electrical impulses to monitor the body's organs, healing those crucial parts when they become infected or injured. This could also be applied to the brain for a physical injury as well as mental conditions such as post-traumatic stress disorder. Number eight, super speed. Okay, this technology won't allow you to be faster than a speeding bullet yet, but it's pretty cool. It's a lightweight jetpack that keeps the user earthbound but helps them run faster and longer without tiring. The initial prototype titled 4MM or 4 Minute Mile is being developed by Arizona State University with funding from DARPA to allow soldiers to run a four minute mile even with heavy equipment. Future editions of the kit will up the pace further. Nine, invincibility. A revolutionary new armor is being developed that relies on a liquid that hardens when something hits it. This could eventually replace Kevlar, which is heavy, hot, and bulky. The new super gel from global defense, aerospace, and securities company BAE Systems means body armor that will provide far greater protection at a drastically lighter weight. With standard ceramic plates, a flak jacket can weigh approximately 25 pounds. This company is confident that the liquid armor could weigh half as much. Beyond the military, there is great potential for developing a version that could be very useful for first responders like police and ambulance crews. Number 10, Climb Like Spider-Man. If you ever watched the Spider-Man movies and wished you could climb up a building, although I don't know what the benefit of that would be, I mean, what do you do when you get to the top? You just take a selfie and climb back down? But anyway, if that is something you want to do, then you'll be glad to hear that a team of researchers at Stanford has developed a way to scale glass walls using pads that attach to a person's hands. The Stanford team created hexagon-shaped pads about the size of ping pong paddles. They then covered them in tiny tiles made from polydimethylsiloxane, a silicon material commonly found in water-repellent coatings. Like a gecko's toes, the tiles have tiny nanofibers that make the pads strong enough to cling to glass surfaces. Flexible springs behind the tiles help to distribute the weight. 
You know, when it comes to superheroes, I never wanted to be like Batman or Iron Man or the Green Lantern because technically they don't actually have any powers. I mean, at least Iron Man is super smart and uh, can create things, but Batman becomes useless whenever the sun comes out and he can't hide in the shadows. And I get that a lot of you love Batman, so this is just my opinion. I like superheroes that actually possesses powers without the help of any external devices because it's just inconvenient. Like, uh, what if the Green Lantern accidentally loses his ring. I mean, people lose things, it happens. Finally, I just want to talk a little bit more about the whole Batman versus Superman movie. Uh, I guess I'll see what happens when it comes out, but I just don't understand it. Batman versus Superman, it's like the most powerful superhero uh, versus the weakest. It's like Majin Buu versus Krillin. How would that even work? I mean, I could see Batman versus Superman as a video that lasts about three seconds, but a whole movie? Tell me. Like right there, as soon as Batman says that, Superman should just eye laser him, movie over. But let me know guys, which of these technologies you are most excited about. And please don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Periscope now, everything is in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.